So this sum, a capacitor is formed by two square metal plates of H A separated by a distance D. Dielectric constants K1 and K2 are filled in the gap as shown in the figure. Uh, so the thick green plates are the capacitor plates. Their uh, length and width, width is here. I have not drawn the width. Width will be like something like this. So these are the plates. These are metal plates. And they consider the capacitor and the um, gap thickness of gap has the thickness D. It is um, filled by two dielectrics. Dielectrics uh, constants are uh, K1 and K2 respectively. They are shown by vertical black strips in the um, upper half and the uh, horizontal blue strips by the low in the lower half. So if we want to find the equivalent capacitance of this system, what do we have to do? Uh, what is the problem? Actually, we don't know the capacitance of any half. They are something an odd shaped, uh, triangular shaped, wedge shaped capacitor individually. We don't know the <laughs> capacitance of them. So, what we are gonna do to this sum is we are going to take a thin distance, thin strip rather. This is a thin strip having thickness dx at the distance of x from say left end. You can take from any end, but this is from left end. So we are going to find out the capacitance of this strip. The strip is also constituted by two parts. We are going to find out the capacitance of these two strips individually. And then there in series, we will find the capacitance of the series of that strip, uh, and then we will integrate it to get the whole capacitance. Okay. So mm, let's see. Uh, say this one is having capacitance DC one. This one is having capacitance DC two. So mm, what is DC one? DC one mm, is say uh, this angle is theta so basically tan theta is uh, perpendicular by base which is basically d by q okay so mm, this distance is also x this is, uh, so what is this length say this length dy so basically y equal to uh, y by x is basically tan theta so y equal to x tan theta tan theta is basically a constant so it will not pose any problem during integration uh, and this length is therefore this is d minus y right so the whole is d so this is d minus y so what is mm, first we calculate dc1 so what is dc1 this is k1 the directly constant the formula is k epsilon not a by d right so c of parallel capacitor is k epsilon not a a means the plate area uh, divided by d means the thick so dc1 will be k1 epsilon not a means we just have to visualize a means this area so what is this area? The area of the strips are basically ADX, right? Uh, sorry, uh, small ADX. This is this because this is small a, okay? So small a DX. So this is small a DX, whole divided by uh, gap between the plates here. Actually, here is one plate. Here is another plate, right? This is a DX is so small you can consider this to be almost a horizontal region. Uh, horizontal plate. Uh, so this is um, d minus y, right? Mm, well, uh, these d and these d are completely different. We must take care of that. And what is dc2? dc2 is similarly k2 epsilon naught. The area is again a dx whole divided by this is now y. So they are in now they are in uh, series. So, what is the equivalent DC? 1 by DC equal to 1 by 
DC one plus one by DC two. So one by DC one. So this is D minus Y by K one epsilon not K DX plus DC two is Y by K two epsilon not K DX. Right. So this is nice. Mm. Uh, we can take one by epsilon not k dx common, and now this is d minus y by k one plus y by k two. Mm. Looks nice. So one by epsilon not k dx k one k two. This is k two d minus y plus k one y. Okay, and therefore d c is basically d c is basically. K one K two divides epsilon not K D X times one by K two D minus Y plus K one Y, right? So that is uh, D C. Mm, all right. Sorry. This part, uh, if cell and radix uh, should go to the numerator. I'm so sorry. K one, K two, if cell and not uh, a d x, that will be on the numerator, and K two d minus uh, that will be okay. Ah, uh, nice. Um, so um, during integration, we can take k one, k two. Those are constant. Epsilon not a. Those are constant. So this is basically integration of k two d minus y plus k one y, and we already know the y as a function of x. So uh, this can be integrated, I guess. Uh, um, the integration can be done. As it as it is, because you see all those thin strips. If we take if we take some more red strips, all those strips will be in uh, what parallel. So in parallel, here just uh, the equivalent C will be just DC. This DC of first strip plus DC of second strip plus DC of third strip dot dot dot, and therefore that will be basically a sum, and so. Now we are only left with that we have to do, do the integration. So mm -hmm, DC equals to we are just to copy k1 k2 epsilon not a, right? K1 k2 epsilon not a, k1 k2 epsilon not a. Uh, this is dx divides um, k2 d minus y plus k1 y. Okay, this is not a very tough integration. K two uh, d minus k two mm, d minus y plus k one y. Right. K two d minus y plus k one y. So y is basically the variable here. So we have to treat it uh, likewise. So k two epsilon not a. This is d x. Now just um, open up the bracket. So k two d Plus y k one minus k two looks nice. So this is k one k two. This is k one k two epsilon not a is there a dx k two d that is constant plus y means basically x tan theta. Okay, right. So x tan theta uh, k one minus k two. Now we have just to substitute. Uh, we take k two d 
plus x tan theta k1 minus k2 to be say p and so if you differentiate it so this is tan theta k1 minus k2 dx and that will be basically dp right so dx is basically dp divides tan theta k1 minus k2 right uh, so you can just put it here so k1 k2 epsilon not a times dx is basically dp divide i am taking this is constant so i am taking it outside so this is tan theta k1 minus k2 and the whole this is basically p right this is basically p so this is l and p so upon on integration this is basically c will be k1 k2 epsilon not a divides tan theta k1 minus k2 and this is ln p we can put the value of uh, p here so this is mm, k2 d plus x tan theta k1 minus k2 right and we must put limit because uh, c is uh, for the whole c our x varies from uh, right x varies from 0 to 0 to a 0 to a okay so this is uh, here is 0 here is a uh, so this is k1 k2 epsilon not a divides tan theta k1 minus k2 ln if you put the value of a here x is a so a tan theta now a tan theta must be d right so a tan theta a tan theta will be d so basically uh, dk1 minus dk2 so dd dk2 dk2 gets cancelled right so it is only left with mm, dk1 correct so this is dk1 minus k1 minus ln mm, this is uh, <laughs> i put zero so dk2 correct so this is dk2 dk2 okay this is dk2 so this is k1 k2 epsilon not a tan theta tan theta is basically uh, tan theta is basically mm, d by a right so this is d by a so a gets a square k1 minus k2 and the ln d1 and this becomes ln dk1 by dk2 so dd gets cancelled ln k1 by k2 and so this is your answer so c equal to k1 k2 epsilon not a square a square is basically the area of the plate divided by d k1 minus k2 ln uh, k1 by k2 